Hello fellow introverts and welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you survived the solar eclipse. And today, I'm going to introduce you to the patron saint of the internet, according to Catholic Church. Now, this is a story which is fundamentally factual about how an Italian teenager became the patron saint of the internet, also making him the first millennial to be sainted, I guess, the terminology. So, Pope Francis cleared the way for an Italian teenager to become the first millennial saint by attributing a second miracle to him, the Vatican announced. The teenager, Carlo Acatus, is often called the patron saint of the internet among Roman Catholics because of his computer skills which he used to share his faith. He did tragically die of leukemia in 2006 when he was just 15. Carlo was born in London to Italian parents and moved with his family to Milan when he was a child. A passion for Catholicism bloomed early. His mother, Antonia Atticus, told the New York Times in an interview in 2020. At seven, he began attending daily mass and his faith inspired his mother to rejoin the church. He was called to serve, finding ways to help the less fortunate donating to the unhoused, she said. In the months before his death, Carlo used his self-taught digital skills to create a website archiving miracles. He also enjoyed playing soccer and video games. After he died, Antonia Actis told the Times that people from all over the world had told her about medical miracles, including cures for infertility and cancer, that happened after they prayed to her son. Carlo was the light answer to the dark side of the web, his mother said adding some admirers had called him a influencer of God. Carlo's life can be used to show how the internet can be used for good to spread good things. Carlo's journey to canonization began in 2020 after the Diocese of Assisi, where, the, where his family owned property, petitioned the Vatican to recognize him as a saint. In February 2020, Francis attributed the healing of a boy with a malformed pancreas to Carlo, after the child came in contact with one of his shirts. Carlo was the first millennial to be beatified. Carlo was the first millennial to be beatified or blessed by the church, another step on the path to sainthood. A final step is for the Pope to approve a second miracle. According to the Vatican, the second miracle involved the recovery of a Costa Rican university student who suffered severe head trauma after falling off her bike in Florence. The woman needed major brain surgery and doctors warned survival rates were low. The woman's mother traveled to Assisi to pray for her daughter at Carlo's tomb at the sanctuary of the Renunciation and asked for Carlo's intercession. Interestingly enough, the young woman quickly began to show signs of improvement in her breathing, mobility, and speech. The Vatican said, Ten days after the woman's mother visited Carlo's tomb, the CT scan showed the hemorrhaging of the woman's brain had vanished, and she was later transferred to a rehabilitation facility. Pope said Thursday that he would convene a meeting of cardinals to consider Carlo's sainthood. The Vatican did not announce a date for the formal canonization ceremony. Carlo's path to becoming the first millennial saint is a milestone. Carlo used the internet and his computer skills to spread his faith, offering the Catholic Church an opportunity to show more of a positive side to social media. Making Carlo a saint may also help the church connect with young Catholics, many of whom have become increasingly disengaged. This is an example of a person like them that can hopefully draw them back to the church, said Professor Kathleen Sprouse Cummings. Now, I don't really know what the patron saint of the internet would do but i will tell you one thing i am not praying to this dude to try to get my subs up that just ain't gonna happen so i did look into it because i didn't know that like being sainted was an actual thing that could still happen um but apparently there are four steps according to the catholic church uh and the first step is to be a servant of god diocesan level after at least five years have passed since the candidate's death, this waiting period can be waived by the Pope. A bishop initiates the process by conducting a preliminary investigation into the person's life and virtues. If there is sufficient evidence of a life of holiness, the candidate is titled Servant of God. Number two, Venerable. 
The result of the diocesan investigation are sent to the congregation for the causes of the saints in Rome. They review the evidence and may recommend the Pope declare the candidates venerable. This means a person lived a life of heroic virtue, which is slightly impressive for a 15-year-old in today's society. Beatification, the next step in the process. One miracle attributed to the intercession of the candidate after the death is required. Luckily, martyrs are exempt from this requirement. The miracle must be thoroughly investigated and confirmed by experts, which again would be the Catholic Church. Once beatified, the candidate is given the title blessed and may be venerated by a particular group or region. The fourth and final step to becoming a saint is a canonization. To be canonized as a saint, a second miracle occurring after beatification must be attributed to the candidate's intercession and confirmed through rigorous investigation. Once the miracle is verified, the Pope may canonize the candidate, declaring them as a saint. Canonization means that the person is worthy of universal veneration and is included in the official list of saints. Now, throughout the process, detailed documentation and testimonies are collected and reviewed to ensure the authenticity of the candidate's holiness and the miracles attributed to them. The entire procedure reflects a church commitment to a thorough and cautious approach in recognizing saints. So, um, you might wonder what the patron saint of the internet does. Now, I will tell you, I googled it, and I don't know what the fuck it does. No idea. It won't tell me. What, what do you do? You pray for higher upload speed, or what? It doesn't say. There's a patron saint of technology, which apparently is different. There's a patron saint of gaming apparently uh but there is no like um actual list of criteria of what this dude does so that being said here is a list other saints that this dude is going to be considered among right so the first one the virgin mary or saint mary obviously she's uh described as the mother of jesus and highly venerated as the mother of god and the queen of all saints so that's uh, pretty high up there, right? Next, St. Joseph, the husband of Mary, the foster father of Jesus, and the honored patron saint of workers and protectors of the universal church. Okay, so now we have uh, Jesus' mom and stepdad, and then we have St. Peter, who was one of the apostles and the first pope considered a rock upon which Jesus built his church. So another high-ranking member of the faith. Next, St. Paul, originally known as Saul, uh, he was an apostle who spread Christianity through his missionary journeys. Um, yeah. Now we have St. Francis of Assisi, known for a love of nature and animals. He founded the Franciscan Order and is the patron saint of ecology. Now, St. Anthony of Padua. He is a friar known for his powerful preaching and knowledge of the scripture, often invoked to help find lost items. Now we have Saint Benedict of Nursia, the founder of Western monasticism, and the author of the Rule of Saint Benedict, which became the foundation of a monastic life in the West. Finally, Saint Patrick, who is celebrated every March 17th, who is the patron saint of idiots getting drunk on Saint Patty's Day. But really, he's known for evangelizing Ireland and celebrated with feasts and parades. Uh, you know, just getting blackout drunk is just another thing. He's also said to have driven all the snakes out of Ireland. I don't know. But that is the list that this young gentleman is being included on. So, you know, I am nobody to question the Catholic Church except for always. But that's all I got for you guys. So let me know what you think. Um, and as always, I will talk to you nerds later.